Hi there, I'm Anne Lisa and I come from East Sussex, England and um, I'm going to do a channel on listening, reading and listening in fact, um, because I think it's a dying art. Um, when my children were small, I obviously read to them all when they were little, but as they grew up, um, I've got four children and um, I made a, a point of giving them half an hour each at bedtime to read to them whatever they wanted to do and you know they loved it I loved it and it was great and uh, and at some point it just stopped and uh, yeah you, you kind of forget about it and um, you know then it's just part of what you do for children um, and then um, my mum got ill and she was bedridden uh, she had Alzheimer's and she was in hospital. She was bedridden for about a year. Um, and uh, at first we kind of like, we went along with all the nurses. Um, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing in there. There's nobody in there. She's gone, you know. Um, we kind of like, um, just uh, went with them because we thought of them as experts and um, we thought that they knew best. And then one day, um, my mum had a visitor and um, by this time we were kind of getting an idea that actually um, there was more in her than we were being led to believe and um, if you held her hand she would squeeze it sometimes uh, she couldn't speak anymore but uh, yeah she'd squeeze your hand every now and then uh, we hadn't kind of figured out that actually she was squeezing in a particular way um, at that point. Uh, anyway, this visitor came and um, we, uh, he, he didn't say much to my mum and he said goodbye and there was something about her face, I thought, she was kind of sad. Uh, I had a book in my bag, it was a book that I never was going to read, it was a book that she liked and uh, I kind of bought it along, I don't know why. But anyway, I bought it along and um, it was a Scarlet Pimpernel and uh, I thought, hmm, okay, I'll just sit in here and read this, you know, part of the time of day because I'd been chatting to my mum anyway, you know, talking about things even though she couldn't answer back or anything. So anyway, um, I started reading this Scarlet Pimpernel and I kind of got into it. It was like really fun and uh, after a while I, I forgot that I was sitting there reading and... Um, I read quite a few chapters and then it, I realised it was getting late and I said to her, um, uh, well, I closed the book and I said to her, I think that um, it's time to go home now, Mum, but I really enjoyed that. And she said, so did I. It was the first time she'd spoken in months and I have to say I had shivers all down me and, you know, and I suddenly realised she's in there, you know, and she's been listening and she's been enjoying it. And it kind of reached her. And uh, after that, I spoke to my sisters and we each um, read to her every day. We carried on reading through Gerald Durrell books, which we knew she liked. And uh, my daughter read a bit of Alice in Wonderland to her. Um, and basically, we read, uh, read to her every day until she died. Um, and... Uh, I got the feeling that, you know, during those periods she was really there and really listening and uh, recently it got me to thinking, I mean it was recently the anniversary of death and it got me to thinking about the um, importance of reading and listening and how um, we just don't do it anymore. We watch videos, we uh, go out and... Um, do a few things, you know. We 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 don't we just don't read and I mean we watch TV, we play on the computer, we do all sorts of things, but we don't kind of just read and listen. And now I've got nobody to read to at the moment, so um, I'm kind of figuring that I'm doing this channel just to appease my my need to read. Um, and uh, if you like it, fair enough. If you don't like it, fair enough. Um, really not bothered. I'm going to start off by reading um, some of my old poetry that's got stuck in a drawer, but uh, I'm not going to stick to this. It's just something to start me off and see how it goes and see what it feels like and whether I want to do it. I mean, maybe there's something, um, another way I can do the reading and listening. 
but right now I feel like reading out loud and, and I'll start with this poem just because it was the first thing I put my hand on this morning <coughs> so um, here goes and this one's called Into Eternity my course haha <laughs> So this is this is like me and not used to reading out loud again. So it's something I've got to get used to again. I like it's called into eternity. Uh, into eternity. My cautious hand traces reflection. My no longer calm. So that's all wrong anyway, isn't it? Oh God, I can't do this. I think I'll start a new one. 